What is up, Mastication Nation? Let's get chewing. I'm your host. Um, welcome to the Nothing Review. Uh, my name is Alvin, and today we're going to be settling the age-old question of Mario versus Sonic, the console wars, C- Sega versus Nintendo. Uh, we have here the latest uh, video game entertainment units from these wonderful institutions, the latest moving video game entertainment devices Super Mario Brothers Wander and Sonic Super Individuals these are very relevant to the console wars um, which much like the Cold Wars were never fought directly through armies and and fighting and nuclear warheads but rather through small uh, proxy wars in uh, French Indochina and various uh, countries in the Middle East. Of course, we can all remember the console wars in the 90s when Sega and Nintendo would bring their best platformers out and see who gets the biggest market share and whoever loses gets mass layoffs. Um, But now we can bring those layoffs back into the modern world for the first time in like 50 years. Uh, This is the first time Mario and Sonic have had a two-dimensional platformer Mario Sonic release uh, video game, mainline video game, so close to each other, directly competing. In fact, three days release date across from each other. This is, of course, the first two-dimensional Sonic game to ever release, um, and this is the first two-dimensional Mario game to release ever since those the second dimension was invented. So now we in the modern world have a unique chance to figure out who actually wins the console wars through these video games right here. So we can rate them based on the things that really matter. So as I can see here, this one is rated everyone todos, uh, whereas this one's rated everyone infants at adults. Um, so already that's one point in Mario's favor. Uh, what else is there between them? Um, one to four players for this one, and one to four players for this one. Uh, This one is online compatible, and this one is online compatible. Ooh, this one requires a micro SD card if you don't have enough storage, whereas this one doesn't. I guess that this one wins. This one was made in Japan, and has a barcode underneath it, whereas this one was licensed Licensed by Nintendo, but also made in Japan. Take the wrapping off, we'll see one of the most important things that you can see. If I can actually get the wrapping off. This one has very much more difficult wrapping to take off, which I think is pretty major. Oh my god. Alright, so comparing the wrapping off the back right here, this one had really hard wrapping to take uh, off. This one had slightly easier wrapping to take off. Um, I've been jump scared from opening this one. Whereas if I open this one, there's just a video game inside. On to the taste test. How does Mario Wonder taste? Very bitter. Much like a Sharpie. I like that. Now we have Sonic. Slightly less potent taste, um, but I, granted I did get a pretty strong burst from the other one right over there. I might actually go for seconds on this one. Mmm. It's actually pretty good. And now to actually play the game. So if I pop the Mario right in my Nintendo here and turn it on, um, what we'll find um, is that this Game Boy doesn't work because I didn't put any batteries in it. Now, if we try that with Sonic, what we can clearly see is that it still doesn't work. Yep. Uh, so, I think I have a pretty clear score in my head. Which one wins? Mario or Sonic? The answer is none of them, uh, because these are both games for little babies. Um, only little baby boys well, baby boys and girls play them between the ages of uh, uh, one and two. Uh, and if you're any other age, you're a little baby. Um, real men, real adults, only play video games like uh, Call of Duty. Uh, you can play um, uh, Battlefield 9. Uh, you can play World War II Simulator. Uh, and uh, y- uh, You can play 
Cuny Pop Dating Simulator. Those are the only games you can play, or your little baby, little infant newborn suckling at its mother's teat, uh, suckling at the, the teat of the government. Uh, it means you're liberal if you play these games, and that's that for you. So on that grounds, I'm giving Sonic uh, a 5.3 out of 10, and I'm giving Mario a liberal Democrat out of 10. Uh, which happens to be numerically equivalent uh, for some reason. Uh, I think that settles the console wars, all those people who died, that they died in vain.